the students are coming back. What are we gonna do? Students are coming back? Yeah! Yes! Hey, we gotta get the building ready. There's gonna be changes. We gotta make sure our students, our staff, our community feels supported and feels safe. Well, let's get a video on the new rules and procedures for our building. Let's do it. All right. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you guys are all excited to come back. I know we all are excited to come back and see each other. I hope that all of your families and that you are staying happy and healthy. It'll be different this year, but we're going to make the best out of it together. Let's make it a year to remember. Now we are going to walk you through your day at Lyle High School and show you some of the new changes and rules that we have in place here. As you notice, we have two lines in the morning, which on any given day will separate the two age groups. On Monday and Tuesdays, we will have our freshmen and sophomores, and on Thursdays and Fridays, we will have our juniors and seniors. And on each day, they will enter through the main entrance and will be separated by grade level. Remember to practice social distancing and not to arrive before 8 o'clock. Every morning, students will be required to show and scan their student ID to prove their health certification. Upon arrival, they will be allowed to proceed to their locker and then classroom. If they are uncertified, they will be guided to the foyer of the auditorium for a manual health certification and temperature check. Social distancing and wearing proper personal protective equipment is mandatory by all staff and students. Here are some examples of what not to do. Come on, bro, Mr. O'Hara. You're not even wearing your mask right. It's got to be above your nose. And come on, guys, really six feet. You guys can still hear each other, I promise. Hallways and stairwells are one way this year at Lyle High School. Here's a few students showing you how they're going to navigate through our building with our signs. Okay, This year, lockers will look a little bit different. They will not be in hallways by grade level. They will be spread apart from each other. And as you'll notice, each student on any given day will have two lockers of separation between them and one of their peers. Your lockers are only for putting your jackets in. You will be carrying your backpack throughout the school day. Once you've entered the building and gone to your locker, you will head straight to your classroom. Upon entering your classroom, you will notice that the desks are spaced six feet apart. There will also be cleaning supplies provided in each classroom. Passing periods will look a little bit different this year. Students will have an eight minute passing period in order to navigate the one way hallways. They can use this opportunity to use the washroom, wash hands and clean their desk upon entering their next classroom. Be mindful of the amount of people in the bathroom. If you notice there's a lot of people in there, just step outside and wait until it clears out a bit. For your physical education classes, locker rooms will not be available. You will just head straight to your gym class and not go to the locker room. If you are feeling ill at school, you would get a pass from your teacher and then you would go to the nurse's office, but you aren't going to go in. You are going to take a seat outside of the nurse's office and wait for her to come see you. Upon dismissal, every student will be allowed to pick up a bag lunch and milk on their way out of the building. These are free to all of our students. Each bag contains three days worth of lunches. And as we are exiting the building, let's make sure to be mindful of social distancing. Whoa!